got back in the workshop and um, quite a busy time at the moment um, making lots of mandolins. <coughs> this is one that I've uh, just completed. Um, this one is, 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 is for Alan and it will be shipped up to um, Scotland at some point next week for him. So having a quick look at this one, um, Red Spruce Soundboard, Coca Bolo back and sides, um, the whole thing French polished, which um, is, is my is really my my finish of uh, of preference. I think it helps tonally um, immensely. Um, lovely flamed maple neck, um, Alessi tuners, excellent tuners, and I think complemented by my my own design of tower piece. So that's Alan's one um, and I'll just show you a couple of the other ones that I'm also working on. So um, this, this, this one's also under con construction. This one's for Sean and this one's going to go off to Ireland. Again um, a red spruce soundboard, coca bolo back and sides. This one's got the sapwood down it. Um, you can see that the, the neck isn't shaped yet. I like to leave it square until it's been um, fretted. It makes the fretting process easier. Um, nice ebony fingerboard with abalone markers. And this is awaiting some um, wide gold Evo fret wire, um, which many players seem to prefer these days. And I guess the thing to point out with this one in comparison to, to, to Alan's, things like the abalone rosette and, and the differing head shape. Um, I like to be able to offer my clients um, really a, a variety whilst actually not compromising um, the integrity of the instrument. And also I've got this mandolin um, on the go. Um, I'm, at the moment I'm calling this my standard plus. Some of you may be familiar with my, um, my standard mandolin my sort of stripped back bare bones. Um, plus, because I've kind of upgraded the tone woods and sp spending a little bit more time doing some of the, some of the pretty um, ornate things. So this one, again a red spruce um, soundboard, but um, Indian rosewood back and sides. And what I've done is I've just got this, what, this single boxwood line running around the instrument on the back and on the sides. Um, herringbone around the front and a her herringbone rosette and we're waiting for the neck to go on so that will go on pretty pretty soon interesting thing is the neck is this um, Wenji this uh, lovely chocolate brown um, colour and you can see how it's, it's, it's going to look really very cool this, uh, this, this whole dark look to, to the back of the instrument and underneath these two strips of wood here is a carbon fibre neck reinforcement um, and you can see my little um, N logo there. This one um, <coughs> I'm building kind of speculatively so although the other two are custom uh, custom built for, for, for clients this one will be offered up for sale um, on my website um, probably in a month or so time probably in sort of se September at some point if you're interested in that one. Well thank you very much for having a look at the video um, in the information box below this, this, this video, I'm, gonna, I'm putting a link to my, my blog and on that, on that blog there's, there's um, a post called Some Thoughts on Mandolin Design and you get a little bit of an idea into my kind of ethos on building mandolins. So um, if you're interested, um, have a read of that and if you're interested in any of my mandolins, give me an email and I'll see what I can do for you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.